Hello, I'm Jason Colby, Territory Representative with ADMAR. With winter on its way, now is the time to start planning for your winter conditions with a temporary heat package solution from ADMAR. ADMAR is here to make sure you stay productive this winter, making sure your project comes in on time and on budget. Whether you're in need of clean, dry heat, worker comfort, or concrete solutions, ADMAR has the product lineup for your needs. While there are many factors that go into formulating a temporary heat plan, there is some basic information that you'll need to determine in order to select the proper equipment for any given situation. For all projects, selecting the type of fuel, whether it's natural gas, propane, diesel, or electric, must be determined. Then, you'll need to determine what type of electrical power is present on the job site. Finally, what are the characteristics of the building itself? What is the building size measured in cubic feet, the building enclosure, and the interior temperature you desire or need to perform for the work required. To do this, you'll need to know the average temperature for that duration. For example, if you need temporary heat for the month of January in Buffalo, you'll need to know historically that Buffalo averages 17 degrees at night and 31 degrees during the day. If the interior needs to maintain 60 degrees, that requires the space to be heated from those cold temps with a 30 to 40 degree heat rise for that month. Once these factors are determined, an ADMAR sales representative will be able to assist in selecting the heating solution best suited for your project. Today we'd like to talk about the four most common types of temporary heat in construction projects. Direct fired, indirect fired, hydronic, and electric. The first type of heat we'd like to talk about today is direct fired heat. Direct fired heat is an economical solution for heating a large space in your project. While these heater types are 100% efficient, there are some challenges when it comes to carbon monoxide and moisture within your project that will need to be addressed. Within the direct fired category, there are a few different types of heater types. The most common is the salamander style, which is an open flame heater that just draws air over the flame to create a heat rise. Another type of heater in this category is the makeup air style. The makeup air style gets rid of the open flame by enclosing it within an exchanger superheating air over that chamber and then distributing that within the project. This helps with not only moisture but also carbon monoxide as there are many air exchanges with these high CFM models. The next type of heater type we would like to discuss is that of the indirect. An indirect fired heater is similar to your home furnace. Temperature rise is achieved through the heat exchanger and then this warm, clean, dry air is circulated into the project through a series of heating ducts. Although the indirect design lacks the 100% efficiency of the direct fired design, through the use of thermostats and placements of the heaters, they can be located outside of the project to assist with pressurization or inside of the project to assist with recirculation of heated air. Whichever design you decide on, your specific project parameters will dictate what the best piece of equipment is for your project. Another type of heater that can provide clean, dry heat is the electric heater. These heaters draw air over an electric coil to achieve the temperature rise. Electric heaters are most useful in cases where fuel is not available on site or fuel fire heaters are not allowed within a project. The last type of heater we would like to discuss today is the hydronic heater. If you've ever lived in a home heated by a hot water system, you'll be familiar with the concept behind hydronic heat. Through the use of a boiler, fluid, often glycol, is heated and pumped through a series of hoses rather than a radiator to achieve a temperature rise. Heat radiating from these hoses is used to thaw ground, cure concrete, or through the use of heat exchangers, create clean, dry air. This functionality of the hydronic heater significantly extends the construction season well into the winter. We appreciate you taking a few moments today to talk about temporary heat and we encourage you to visit one of our 10 branches to consult with one of our experts to put your temporary heating plan together today. All of these heater types we discussed today have their place in temporary construction heat. At ADMAR, we pride ourselves on being able to offer a wide range of heating equipment while taking into consideration cost, efficiency, and project constraints of our customers. Our showrooms are stocked full of accessories such as fans, poly sheeting, concrete blankets, gloves, and winter safety gear. When coupled with some of the most trusted brands in temporary heating equipment, this makes ADMAR an ideal partner for your next temporary heating project.